Good morning, everyone. It's very early. I'm walking out to my garden. Just normally, I do a walk, uh, but here I just want to show you some of my beautiful dahlia. Oh, by the, by the way, this is my Heidi Clam rose. So if you watch my rose baby video, still have a part of the mildew. Look at that. But the bush get bigger, and I just repot it, so it look happier anyway. But still have a powdering mildew. All right, so that's a quick update for that. Okay, so over here I got uh, two variety of pom pom dahlia. Uh, a lot of the variety I got this season that I never grow them before. Or I, before I just have very few common variety. Uh, I will show you them as well. All right, so I feel that the the pom pom variety they last a long time, uh, and often the stem just stay very upright, and I really like like it, and very good for cut flower. All right, so example, I will put the name on the screen so you will have a. Do uh, mean you will know the variety? So if you want to add some to your daily collection, uh, and this variety when it start open, it's more like deep red maroon like this uh, but after that it fades it fades into kind of deep pink uh, or I'm not sure what they do call this color but it's a beautiful one and I this bloom I have opened over well, two weeks already can you believe that and I have this in the container this container not big at all or well, 30 centimeter width I wish that I could have a more like bigger container maybe 40 or 50 centimeter centimeter width so uh, they could be happier but the um, tuba it wasn't as big this spring but uh, I hope that I will get some more bigger container to report them next year all right so over here uh, different variety and again I will put the name on the screen uh, this one I don't know what kind is it color is it do you know what do we call this color deep orange mm, not quite uh, I don't know what do we call this color uh, but anyway have few uh, flying buds on excited about the new uh, uh, blooms open though because they are just so beautiful and over here oh let me show you some of the day. sunflower if you watch my garden tour lately you already seen them but they just beautiful okay so few um some of a oh, lot of variety i got they haven't opened yet uh, so i will come back to show you in different clip but let's come over here this variety is it's funny uh this one uh you can see it more like pink and creamy yellow like this but actually when it starts open it's more more creamy yellow it will yellow like that and after that few days it age and the petals they start to turn to pink and that is really cool and this variety is the first variety that blew in my garden and over here I got the dahlia this one I think it called dahlia dainty sue love this variety I got this one like, for three years now I uh, haven't uh, divided uh, the tuber yet maybe I will do this spring or uh, this uh, winter uh, but beautiful beautiful one and <laughs> loves the bloom on and last year I didn't stack them at the end the branches to go everywhere uh, but this year I tie the string like all of them together with the string and so they can stay up straight like this but beautiful beautiful one and look at it it's just cute when the little bloom just start open And over here are oh, another day uh, love over there, the cactus variety. And over here I got the pink variety. Uh, I think I I show you one of the garden tour video or something a oh, long time ago, last year or the year before. Um, it was in my fun yard and I moved this put into my backyard. And look at it, it's beautiful, just something just different. And I got this bush for three years now. Very good plumer, by the way. Not sure I have enough sun in the corner or not, because I do have a rose and other full tree in the corner, and my apricot tree there. So it's doing okay. Oh, by the way, look at my persimmon. 
I got, I think, over 10 foot on this persimmon tree. Look at it. Oh, is that so exciting? Over here, I got a few different variety of data. Let me work well with you. So first, uh, let's talk about uh, that, this variety actually. So uh, this one, I divided the tuber from the original bush over there. Uh, and I got that bush, I think this is going to be the third year. Uh, so I didn't divide any tuber from that bush uh, last year, but I did divide uh, from the, that bush this year so I got another bush and the blooms are huge beautiful beautiful one uh, and um, this uh, this blooms the petal are much bigger than the day um, cafe au lait dahlia uh, this one look much choppier I think this one they have quite the same uh, style like the shape of the bloom like this and this one uh, th by the way this one they call daily earned beautiful one very healthy and over here this bush um, uh, some lady uh, someone or lady she gave to me at the beginning of the uh, spring or I, I think maybe at that time maybe it will meet uh, winter she gave away and after that she gave me quite a big clump of the tubers and so that's why you can see this bush I just planted a few months ago and it had so many blooms on and they last quite long in the vase as well I love dahlia uh, lately I love a lot of dahlia because they can tolerate with the high temperature why some of the roses they can't because they just uh, got sunburns and shiver uh, but dahlia they seem they stand with the heat quite well uh, even we just got like well over 30 degrees celsius but i do feel that we got a very high temperature already but i can't compare to a lot of you guys live in the other area that the temperature is much hotter than that but we are in camper so uh, our area they kite very high you know so that's why sometimes we or oh, most of the time when it's sunny i feel the sun is scorching all right so normally i prefer to pick the flower more like this actually and after that it can last much longer in the vase and i do love the deep dark color of this dahlia uh, my friend, she order one variety called, I think, Dania Lucket. That means the bloom should be very deep, dark, red color, you know. But it turned out she got a different color and she was so disappointed about that. Alright, so over here, let me show you. I got this beautiful uh, Dania uh, I it called my love and this one this variety i have for several years now i think right at the beginning i'm i gardening and this variety i just got in audi i think the tuber who i think oh no it was on clear actually it was six or seven dollar and i bought two tuber but now i got so many because i got several years and they multiply so much but look at this daily oh, it's beautiful beautiful and over here, this one is called Purple Edge, but that doesn't look like purple. Uh, I don't know what this one called. Do you think it's purple? It's more like pink. But anyway, here is a bloom that has been open for a few days. Now we walk around this way. And the bloom are huge as well. And I love this variety. This one, look at this. Beautiful. Do you think it's pink, deep pink or purple? I'm not sure. But anyway, the bloom are huge too. It lasts a long time in the vase. And again, when I want to do the cut flower, I want to pick it when the side like this. And after that, it's a few days more in the vase and they last much longer. This one is called Purple Edge Dahlia. And I do have this little black box here. Look at that. I do like eating my rose bloom and dahlia bloom. Hi everyone, welcome back. So we just had a very big uh, thunderstorm. And this is the Cafe Ole. Opened, I think, two days ago. And now it's looking quite large. But you can see a lot of damage from the bugs. Uh, again, I don't know what kind of bug is that. You can see the black dot dots around there because they do eat some of my roses as well. And now they all about this beautiful uh, cafe au lait dahlia. I don't know what they are called. Please tell me if you know. 
but look at that. Let me stand up here. You can see all oh, the little black spot there, uh, box there. Look at that. They look like they're having a feast. Just what a shame. This day idea, I don't know what the name though. I put the name on the screen. It only just start open. This one I ordered from, I think, the seed collection. The, I mean, the tuber I bought from them. Oh, here is a flower that I showed you a few days ago. And after a few days, the flower fully opened like that. Looking beautiful. And over here, I got another shade of pink dahlia. Let me show you. Come over here. This one. Of course, I can try the name. Uh, find the name to put on the screen so you might... Uh, want to check it out? Look at this. I love the pom 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 variety lady. I think I got I think another first variety of the pom pom. I think will be a white or creamy white color. Can't wait to see it bloom. All right, come back to you. Maybe a few more days when I see more more of my dahlias open. Another beauty. Let me show you. This one just opened today. Look at that. And this tuber, I'm not sure where I got it. Maybe in Bunnings or from the maybe Garden Express that I often order the flower or tuber. But anyway, it's beautiful. The plumes aren't, uh, is not large though. I think maybe 7 or 8 centimeters across. Beautiful. Uh, do you know, I'm not sure about you, but I do like big plumes, but I do love the small or medium size too, because that works uh, much easier or very easy to manipulate when we do the flower arrangement. I uh, love the color, so that's why I really want it, but beautiful. I think it got more que uh, yellow in the center. Can you see that? But creamier on the outer side. And again, they've got a lot of little, little bug bug inside here. Can you see that? It's just stay inside and eating my flower. But even though, just beautiful. So normally when I cut the flower, for cut flower, I just held down upside down and I just shook, shook, shook. Oh, I shake the flower several times. And then uh, most of the bugs, they come down or fall off. This beautiful yellow dahlia, this one they haven't opened like for, I don't know, two weeks already. So you can see the flower, I mean the petal underneath this. It kind of turned to like, uh, kind of wilting, a little bit the shivel actually, because it has been open for quite a while. Uh, this one is the fresher one. Let me show you. Look at that. Beautiful one. This, uh, oh, I mean, I have quite a few like, uh, dahlia they are in the container but only this one I even I reported it and still looking like like a uh, nitrogen or nutrient in here so I think I need to fit it uh, heavier than the other one I haven't fed it at all I just reported it in the uh, in the bigger container and of course I'm run out of room I have no more room to put them in the ground so I'm sorry dahlia you just have to stay in the container this one though is exciting uh, color I I can't wait to show you when it open. Okay, I might have to come back and show you in another day. And bye. So after a day, and this bloom fully open, looking real pretty. So this color, I don't know, it's kind of like burgundy, dark red color. Looking really good. I do love the pom pom variety because they're very easy to do cut flower. And over here, this one I just showed you earlier as yes, well. Loves this bloom. They bloom on and on and on. And I'm surprised that like, they are uh, in the little container, 30 centimeter wide, and doing so well. And over here, I got one more little variety. I don't know what it's called. Uh, I try to put the name on the screen. But this one is super small and very creamy. Very creamy. I don't know, creamy white color. And look very cute. As uh, a plant is very small though. And so the, there's a plume. Uh, I'm not sure this is a tiny, I mean the miniature variety or something or maybe the plant is still very small so that's why blooms are uh, small but I'm just curious this one is not much bigger than my thumb can you see that? maybe just a double size than my thumb look at that so you can imagine the bloom is 
is very small. I don't know why, maybe just the a variety of this. So I think that this is for the video today. I hope that you, you enjoy all the different types of my beautiful dahlia. Oh, by the way, let me show you double delight. Well, that I just uh, make the video, which I talk about uh, this variety of the rows, and this is the second flash of uh, blooms. They're looking beautiful. A few days ago, we got quite high temperature, and some of the petals, they got burnt like this, or they fade away. Some of the blooms just only opened. Look at that. Beautiful. And let me show you this my pond, by the way. I love the sound of the water. They're kind of like feeling calm and relaxing in the garden. But uh, I think that's it for the video today. I hope that you enjoy seeing all my beautiful dahlias. And I will see you next video. Bye-bye. I'm back inside this beautiful space of the dahlia. This space is quite large. Uh, I think about 60, nearly 60 centimeters tall and about 20 centimeters width. Quite large, but so that's why I can jam in the lots of dahlia in there. We're supposed to have thunderstorm tonight, so I just don't want the rain destroy all of them. I still have a lot of them on the bush though. Uh, but here is our meow meow. Hi, Meow Meow. She's so cute. She loves food so much. Anyway, I call her Meow Meow, but uh, when we adopt her, her name is actually Tiger Lily. My husband still calls her Tiger Lily. I do call her sometimes, but I don't often call her Meow Meow. Anyway, go back to the um, uh, daily. Uh, let me show you one more time so you can see all this beautiful daily. Look at those. And they just gorgeous. Look at that. So many the flowers. And thank you so much for watching and see you next one.